Let's talk about pendulums and reality transurfing. And let's talk about reducing importance because I feel like now is the time we need to discuss this across the board. Why? Because pendulums are just thought structures that everybody thinks. Call it group sync. And what happens is they spread like wildfire because of our negativity bias. I talk about this all the time on my channel, but the negativity bias is so much easier to fall prey to than positivity. And it just spreads and spreads and spreads. As Vadim Zeeland says in the book, Reality Transurfing, dissatisfaction and lack of fulfillment are a pendulum's favorite dish. And today I'm gonna give you some metaphors or some ways that we can look at pendulums in a different way and real life experience. Welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Kathy Owen. On this channel, we talk about corporate wellness, fitness, reality transurfing, and more. And today we are back to talking about transurfing. At the beginning of July, 2024, we had a hurricane hit my area, Hurricane Barrel. And Barrel was much like another hurricane that I lived through, oh, many, many years ago. But what happened with this hurricane was the eye of the storm went directly over my house, just like Hurricane Alicia many, many years ago. And if you have never experienced the eye of a hurricane, I have to tell you, it is something to be seen. So the eye of the hurricane went over our house about 8 a.m. and the storm hit about 3 a.m. And this storm had winds that were so scary. I was trembling. I was so scared. We lost power as soon as the storm hit. That was one thing. I expected that. But the winds, oh my goodness, you could feel them shaking the entire house. In fact, Picture frames were crooked in my house, and I live in a house on a foundation. And this just was like blew my mind that the, the winds were that strong. So the eye of the hurricane hit about 8 a.m. That was when the winds slowed down a tad, not very much, but also the rain stopped. And it was just kind of weird and eerily calm. It was calm, especially after going through this storm, because about 30 minutes before the eye came over the house, that was the worst part of the storm. If you've ever seen a hurricane and seen it on the radar, you can see the very middle of the storm where there's just nothing there. That's what I experienced. I went outside at this time, and when I did, nature was running around. But the wind was blowing hard and still blowing the trees and stuff. Now, I've lived through many hurricanes in my lifetime because I live on the Gulf Coast. And when I lived through hurricanes and it was coming, I could feel that everything was about to change. Everything was going to be different as soon as the storm passed through. And that's exactly what happened. But that's a fact of a hurricane. That's a fact of living on the Gulf Coast. Do not be shocked when it comes through. And it just blew my mind that the pendulums went like crazy and people were shocked that trees were knocked down or limbs were everywhere or we lost power. Some people lost power for seven days. I've lived through a hurricane where some people lost power for three weeks, three weeks. And people were upset that they lost it for seven days. You know, in reality, transurfing, the Deem Zealand teaches us that we are just guests on this planet and we can't just have expectations that all of these wonderful things are given to us. If you like today's video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and hit that little bell and subscribe to our channel so you never miss a video from us. Let's get back to the episode. We need to come from a place of gratitude. But as soon as the storm passed through, we lost cell service. We lost electricity. It's just something to be 
it's going to happen when you live in this vicinity. And it just blows my mind that people expected something different. It's just what happens. And the complaining was crazy. For example, they were complaining about our electricity company, Centerpoint Energy. They were complaining about them not getting the power up. Well, there were 2 million people without power. And things were blown down. Okay, sit back, relax, wait a minute. Well, then there was a picture of the CEO or whatever he was of Centerpoint sitting there telling everybody to keep their thermostats on 77 degrees when he had a thermostat behind him. And the thermostat said 70 degrees. And everybody took it literally and really believed that this was the case. Whereas I could tell this picture was photoshopped. It just seemed so ignorant to me for people to actually believe that this was going on or that he was doing this on purpose or that I even read somewhere that somebody said that the power went out before the storm hit. It's neither here nor there. Let's talk about the pendulum and reducing importance when it comes to situations like this. So the pendulum is just a thought structure that everybody thinks and it only wants your energy. As I stated at the beginning of this, dissatisfaction and lack of fulfillment are a pendulum's favorite dish. Oh, that pendulum was at work. It was work everywhere. <laughs> it just It's just funny. And then reducing importance is also a big concept in reality transurfing. Reduce importance. We are not entitled to anything in this world except for your breath. That's it. That is all you are entitled to. Everything else should come from a place of gratitude, but should is a dirty word. We interrupt this episode to let you know I have a free download and bonus downloads on reality transurfing at www.kathyowen.com backslash reality dash transurfing. I sure hope to see you there. And let's get back into the episode. I know. So let's let's talk about how to deal with pendulums in a realistic way. Number one, with a gratitude practice, focus on what you are grateful for, no matter what. Because if you're breathing, there is always something to be grateful for. Yes, I know it hurts. Things bad can happen. But when you find gratitude for the, the safety of your family, your community's resistance, and the small acts of kindness that happen during a storm is beneficial. So the news happens to stay on 24 hours a day when something like this happens. And the news doesn't focus on the people that are safe. They don't focus on the resilience that's happening around us. They don't focus on the small acts of kindness because of that negativity bias. Everybody wants to see the bad things, the trees that fell on somebody's house, the tree that fell on a lady's house that killed her. And it's just horrifying that that's what they want to focus on. But guess what? That is just the pendulum at work. So another tip on dealing with pendulums is have mindful media consumption. Limit your exposure to fear-mongering or call it what it is, that is fear porn. Fear porn is the media when it's negativity and even in social media it happens and seek out positive stories instead. So I look at my logarithm on my social media and I notice what's happening inside there. And the the logarithm is really there to benefit you, whether you realize it or not, or you could look at it that way. Maybe that's just my perspective. But if you're focusing on the negative and you're commenting on the negatives and you're commenting on things or 
whatever happens, it's going to give you more of that. Be mindful of your media consumption. And then number three, community support. Engage with other people and find the positives and create a sense of connection and solidarity because this is going to help you realize, oh, okay, this is a positive that happened and and not focus on the negative. For example, our next door neighbors had a generator that was run on their house. So their whole house just immediately went to the generator and they hooked up electrical cords that we put our refrigerators on or we had fans that were on in our in our bedroom and that was community support I'm so grateful for our neighbors I remember my neighbor texting me right at the end of the storm right before the eye came over and she was saying we're almost through this it's I can see the eye coming right now and as soon as the eye came over the storm was pretty much over there was no more of it behind this the storm. And then number four, another way to deal with pendulum is a visualization. So visualize positive outcomes, the power being restored, the community coming together and life returning to normal. You know, what's, what's odd is this storm comes through and within a week, everything is back to normal. They're still like hiccups. It's almost like an earthquake is aftershocks that come through. Um, I hear different stories even three weeks later about things that happened during the storm that are affecting them today. But these are just aftershocks or ways that the pendulum is still trying to hook you. So reality transurfing teaches us to find advantage in every situation. And by shifting our focus from the negative to the positive, we can change the trajectory of our reality. And finding advantage is not always easy because of our negativity bias. We are biased towards negativity. That's our brain just trying to take care of us. But here are some ways to shift your focus from the negative to the positive. Awareness is key. Recognize the pendulums influencing your thoughts and emotions by being aware and using a sense of humor too. Humor is a great way to stop the pendulum sway. You just sit back and go, oh my goodness. Like, for example, that center point picture, that was funny to me because I'm thinking, I was just thinking to myself, I didn't say it to the people that were talking about it, but I'm thinking you do know that that's very easily easily photoshopped but it was funny to me so the pendulum didn't hook me number two shift your focus consciously choose positive and empowering thoughts so whenever the news would be really really negative or really really scary I would go I would choose the positive I couldn't remember the other hurricane that hit it was so similar I remember I was attending the University of Houston And the trees were, some of them were automatically crooked for years to come. And that was just part of the storm. So it's just part of life and part of what happens in life. And then number three, find advantage. Look for the lessons and opportunities in every challenge. And I've learned this throughout my life. But finding advantage in things shifts your perspective And you don't look at things as happening to you. They're happening for you. And number four, mind your energy. Surround yourself with positive influences and avoid fear-based narratives. So pay attention to your energy. I always say, I don't want that in my chi. Don't mess with my chi. And I protect my energy because I know that what's going on out there is not my reality. So I just turn it back to the positives. Number five, visualize your desired reality. Imagine positive outcomes very vividly. See, the pendulum doesn't want you to imagine the positive outcomes. It wants you to stay hooked in and take your energy. So if you visualize your desired reality and you imagine it as big as you can, 
it changes everything. Another thing you can do, this, this is a little bit different, is you can visualize the negative, the worst that could happen and just be okay with it. If you can just visualize it and become okay with it, it shifts things, drastically shifts things. So this hurricane taught me valuable lessons about the power of our thoughts and the impact of the pendulums of our reality. And with the upcoming election, you're going to see the same types of things. And by choosing to disengage from fear-based thoughts and finding advantage in every situation, we can navigate life storms or life's elections with resilience and grace. And I don't know about you, but that sounds absolutely fabulous. All right, thank you for joining me today. Remember, you have the power to shape your reality. Stay positive. Stay away from that negativity bias. Stay mindful and keep transurfing. I trust that you found today's video helpful. If you know someone who could benefit from this, please share it with them. And until next time, I will see you next time. Peace out and namaste.